30 years, Americans have tuned in to unwind and share a smile with Wheel of Fortune. You can see it every night right here on Channel 4 after the evening news in this morning's special assignment. I'm taking you behind the scenes for a look at the show's success to celebrate their special anniversary season. And now, here's your new host, Pat Sajak. You could call it a lucky spin on the wheel of chance for an L.A. weatherman and a South Carolina fashion model. I didn't see myself as a game show host. Mm -hmm. and in fact, Merv Griffin, who created the show and asked me to come do it, I said to him, I said, I can't do that game show thing. That, hey, $10,000, it's not really me. And he said, I like what you do on the air. That's why I hired you. Just do it your way. I auditioned for the show along with 200 other girls, and Pat said that I was probably the most nervous of all the girls that he saw. But Merv Griffin, who selected me, uh, I guess like the way I turn the letters is what he said. <laughs> Here we go. During the show's 30 years on the air, the switch to a digital puzzle board has been the biggest update. It used to take 45 minutes to manually change each puzzle, and that could really add up when you consider Wheel tapes six shows a day in L.A. and employs a staff of 70. The two most visible employees have a true friendship. We have not had one argument in 30 years, and I think from the time we first met, we had great chemistry. Here we go, folks. Applause. Throughout the decades, the show has also stayed true to its original concept. Wheel of Fortune is really a very basic game at its core. It's hangman with prizes, and we've tried not to lose sight of that. When Wheel of Fortune first came to TV, it was only in a handful of cities, including Buffalo. Now, three decades later, there's more than 60 versions around the world. It's kind of like seeing your furniture in somebody else's living room. While we welcome Pat and Vanna into ours, they make everyone feel at home, making the most of a long pause and taping with a few laughs and a little conversation with the audience. First time we've ever had a technical issue on the show. You were here. <laughs> Meanwhile, contestants are coached on everything from having a powerful spin and a powerful voice when they're calling out those letters. The show's recent taping in New York City brought thousands of fans, but the hosts have connections to other parts of New York, too. Vanda's mother was born in Syracuse, and Pat says he remembers the Queen City like a sports fan snow globe. One of the prettiest days in my life was in Buffalo, and I'll tell you, it was the first Winter Classic hockey game. Uh, the outdoor game they play once a year, the NHL does, and the first one was in Buffalo. And I've been to every one. We're big hockey fans. But movie buffs may know Pat's other Buffalo connection, the 1982 comedy Airplane 2. I played a local newscaster, and they made me a Buffalo newscaster. So, yeah, I, in fact, I, you can say I've worked in Buffalo. Did you do research into that character? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had two lines. That movie didn't break any box office records, but Wheel of Fortune keeps on spinning its own success. But somewhere along the line, we became more than a popular show. We became part of the popular culture. This could be the show that's never canceled. Diana Fairbanks, News 4. Aren't they nice? And they were super nice. Of course, you can watch Wheel of Fortune every night right here on Channel 4. All right. And uh, you were telling us the wheel super hard to spin, right? It really is. It's hard to spin. Don't judge the contestants. It's harder than it looks.